Right. So a couple of years ago, I did some stuff with debug info. This is a tale of one kind of path through all of that work. It was a bug. Actually, this bug looked worse when it was first filed. It only says 20% here. When it was first filed, it said five times. <laughs> so someone filed the bug. Some discussion happened. Some things happened. Nico Weber was nice enough to update the bug in 2012. It was only 20% at that point, And provide a lovely example where we were three and a half times larger. Some time after that, I got around looking at it. <laughs> the first thing I found was a registration system. So you can imagine, I've put in a few extra details here, but you've got some class foo, some class bar, and an instance b. And inside bar's constructor, what was really happening was it was accessing a global map, indexing it by the enum, and registering the static factory function. There were macros that were stamping out hundreds of these. But GCC's debug information didn't have any mention of foo mentioned bar, and then it stopped. So that was kind of cool for GCC. That's why it was so small. Um, but it's a reasonable question as to why. If you look here, if the registration had been done in a global initializer, then we both would have em emitted foo and bar. But just it happened to be that when it was local and the enum was referenced, GCC didn't really care. Um, that's not a really satisfying answer, so we kept looking. We found some other bits and pieces. We found that foo, even if it's trivial, we still produce debug information for its constructor, even though you can see that there is no code it actually called to construct the thing. So we got rid of those. Uh, we found some debug information for templates that was in, were instantiated, but again, never called. So if you never call caller, as this translation unit doesn't, no point describing the debug information for func int, because it was never created. There's no code there for it. Wherever code ends up for it, well, we'll describe it there. Then I decided to take a different strategy. I came at it from the other direction. I took all of the strings and the debug information, and I sorted them, and I diffed them, and I looked for big chunks that were missing from Clang's output, but uh, missing from GCC's output, but present in Clang's. I found a bunch of stuff related to streams. I found this simple example in the end. GCC's debug information describes a declaration of basic IF stream here. No definition, no members, no allocators, no anything. I'm like, well, that's cheating. Why? I figured maybe it was this extern template thing that allows the compiler to put the definition of all of the template goo in one place and rely on it being there from everywhere else. But then I simplified the example further, as you see on the right, and virtual turned up. I'm like, that virtual is critical to making this skip all of the debug information with GCC. So we reduce it a little further. We add the registration goo back in. Notice I've just come at this from a different direction. We were looking at file streams, and now we're back at the registration goo, because they're actually the same problem, or the same solution. If you omit the debug information for a type and your GCC, and you see that that type has a V table, so any dynamic type, either virtual, derivation or virtual functions, then you don't emit the full debug information for the type unless you see the V table, which is an implementation of how you know, uh, polymorphism works. And essentially allows GCC to opt out of emitting the debug information for types in many, many places and rely on it being somewhere else. Huge wins. So I implemented that. It's something we would talked about doing for a while. And let's say that it improved things. <laughs> so. Just that patch improved the debug information for Clang bootstrapping itself by 23%. Overall, based on the other changes I did here and other stuff that I was doing at the time, uh, the numbers reported for Chrome were 40% smaller executables compared to GCC and faster link times by about five seconds or something, I forget. Uh, for the particular server binary I was looking at um, to do most of this work, half the size in the dot O, 60% smaller in the dot uh, split debug information, which is another way of getting debug information out of the object files. Smaller executables and fewer relocations, which should really help with link times. That's about the summary of it. 